Adam, thanks so much. A second chance at life. A California man battling Parkinson's has shaken the tremors and is hitting the road, traveling through the Rogue Valley to share his story. NBC 5's Natalie Weber spoke with the man about the disease and how this surgery gave him his life back. Natalie? Craig, Kristen, Vince Vincent went through a major change in his life when he was diagnosed with Parkinson's a little over a year ago. But it's because of his tenacity that he was able to change it back. From border to border. From border Mexico to border Oregon. Just up and down the whole state of California. Vince Vincent began walking in March from San Diego. It's here on the outskirts of Ashland that he stopped for a soak in the Lithia Well Springs. Looking at Vincent now, you wouldn't know he lives with Parkinson's disease. I started pill rolling. This is where your thumbs and your finger do this, you can't stop it. Following a trip to the doctor and a neurologist, Vincent was officially diagnosed. To my surprise and amazement, nine months later I'm crippled. I went to stage one, stage three Parkinson's nine months. With his condition rapidly declining, he began researching. That's how he found out about a new procedure called deep brain stimulation. After finding the neurosurgeon he wanted to work with, he moved to Pomona, California for surgery. Uh, October 2nd and October 9th, they put electrodes in my brain. They wired them down my neck on the 26th, and on the 26th of October, they installed computers in my chest. The computer tells his brain to produce dopamine, and when they're turned off by a remote that Vincent keeps, he loses dopamine and gains the tremors. But a year later, with the computers in place and on, Vincent says things are nearly back to normal. No tremors, no shakes, no anything. A second chance, he calls it, to live life to the fullest. And after completing this bout of travel, Vincent has one more thing he wants to do. To get strong enough to where I can do the Pacific Crest Trail in spring, that's my goal. And then I'm done. Maybe. <laughs> I've been contacted by it. Medical experts say the surgery has been around for a couple of years, but doctors are just now perfecting it. Here in Oregon, OHSU in Portland offers the deep brain stimulation procedure. Live in studio, Natalie Weber, NBC5 News.